Hello, and thank you for tuning into our Shaw stream tonight of our Saskatoon Senior Boys Basketball Final of Walter Murray Collegiate and Holy Cross Crusaders. Tonight's game is going to be having the top two teams of the city, and they're facing off for a title of the 2023 City Champions. My name is Davis Humbert. And I'm Tegan Dirksen. We're going to get going here right after we announce our starting lineups. Davis, if you could describe this atmosphere in one word, what would it be? Unrelatable. Can't relate to anything. Closest thing might be Brit. But you know when you're in the Kelly Bowers Gymnasium, atmosphere is always going to be amazing. A lot of great memories in here. I know we watched a lot of Brit games in here as kids. Absolutely. Going to be a good one tonight. Tip one to Holy Cross. Easton Tim controls it down low. Early three. Off the mark. Tipped out to Morin. Attacks there, swings it around. Kick out to Morin, swing to Holly. Getting cut off in the corner. Shot clock's getting low. Shots gonna be no good. no good from three. Easton Tim, that's a big man to bring up the ball here. Look to find him establishing position down low. Early touch and early foul. Oh. Foul's gonna be on number three, Dylan Moore, in his first of the game. What do you think some keys of the game are early here for Holy Cross here, Davis? Well, I was talking to the coach Josh Rutten before, and he said he wanted to use his size down low. Uh, he wanted to focus on really breaking their press early and often, and then just stopping their shooters, Zach Hawley and Dylan Morin. Easton Tim knocks down the second. Itsuguari has it in the corner here. Shot clock's getting low here for more, and he has to put one up. A little long. Now that Holy Cross defense, what are you seeing from them right now? I think they're making passes tough for this Murray, Murray team. Ooh, tough take. We have another foul here. Really a tale of two offenses right now, really. Cross able to get downhill, get to the basket. Definitely Cross does have the length that Murray might not have. Murray definitely favoring in the speed though. Makes for a really exciting matchup here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
second one is good by Shepard Hills. I'd like to see if Murray can get the ball moving a little bit quicker here. Sticking a little bit in their hands. Holy Cross seems to be sitting in some sort of zone right now. Might be a 3 2 2 3 latch up. Sims with the board, he's pushing. That's going to be too quick a beat there. Travel going the other way. You got to wonder what the rebounding situation is going to be like with 6 7 Easton Tim's down low. Yeah, I think Daciel's really going to have to battle here tonight. Uh, I'm excited to see this matchup. I think it's it's a great one. Mm -hmm. Great attack from Daciel Fontaine. A quick turnover by Holy Cross. Number 13, Jack Gray, looking to push it up, but maybe just a little bit too strong, a little bit too in front of number seven, Reese Kraft. Love the way Daciel Fontaine really contorted in the air there and finished that one off. That was beautiful. Zach Colley from three in the corner, just long. You know, that's not going to discourage him from shooting a couple more tonight. Oh, these guys got all the confidence in the world. We are here for it. A couple uncharacteristic Holy Cross turnovers here in the first quarter. Nerves? Possibly. A lot of tip balls. Could be credit to the defense, could be a little bit of nerves on offense, as you're saying, Davis. Now, for those who tuned into our senior girls game, there were nine jump balls. See if we can match that tonight. Daciel Fontaine with a little pull up there. Doesn't go. Quick three by Jack Ray. Off. A good rebound by Dylan Morton. Dylan Morton pushing the ball. Takes it right into the heart and he finishes. Strong two point. Good defense, better shot. Key and Tyson with a strong take inside. First one's no good. Here's another run out by Dylan Morton. Being patient in the fast break. Going for Tunio Blake. It's going to take it in. And the right hand lift to finish. Quick swing out to Zach Pauley. No good from deep. Shepard Hills fakes that. Finds the position inside. Keen Tyson for three. Just too strong. I once heard those called adrenaline threes. You know, the blood's flowing. A little bit heavy on that first three of the game. Let's see if they can settle down here and knock some down. Zach Hawley with it, attacks from the corner. Foul on Key and Tyson, his first. Marauder ball at the side. Isaguari gets it in for Holly. Looks inside. Great defense there by Holy Cross. Tough look inside. That's a great finish. Oh, rolls around and in for Shepherd Hills. <laughs> Think if Holy Cross can get that ball inside and get those early fouls on Murray, it's going to be tough for them to keep up with them. Fortunio Blake is first.
coming into the game, number 12 for Holy Cross, Mo Osman, a great 10. A little slip here by Datiel Fontaine, he can't finish. A couple looks inside for Murray. Datiel cannot finish the second one either, back iron. Holy Cross looks inside, a tough pass inside to Tim's. It's going to be turnover. Holly bringing it up. Holly with a quick right to left cross. Gets into the stifling defense of Holy Cross and turns it over there. Now these two teams played just a short while ago. Holy Cross coming out on top at Walter Murray's gym. It's a close, close game. Walter Murray's yet to beat Holy Cross this year, but all the games have been quite close. Can they do it tonight? Watching that game, Cross seemed to have nothing really going for them until midway through the third quarter. This one shaping up to be really good. Kick out to Dylan Morin. Just short. Dylan Morin with the acrobatic finish, but can't get it to roll in. Top one by Kean Tyson. He's going to get that one to go. Kean Tyson also a great 10. We got two great 10s on for Holy Cross right now. You got to love that if you're a Holy Cross program right now. Great kick out there. Itagori cannot get it to go. Have the Marauders hit a three yet? No. Don't think they'll stop shooting though. Walter being one of the top three point percentage teams in the city. Deep three. Shepard Hills keeps it alive. Oh, Zach Holly with a great rotation and turnover. Walter Murray, there's Gets blue it up everywhere. To his teammate. Dylan can't finish the first one. Can't finish the second one. Blocked inside. Oh, can't corral the rebound. What is going on? Derek got anarchy in here early and often. Call it nerves, call it excitement, call it whatever you want. And I think this favors Walter Murray's style of play. They're trying to get Holy Cross out of their slow and fundamental offense here, and it's working. Quick inbounds, back to Holly, no. Nothing from two of the highest scoring teams in the city, an 8-4, almost three minutes left in the first quarter. It's low scoring so far. You gotta think they'll settle down here and get some scoring going right away. Holly takes it up. Gets it into Itaguari. He attacks middle. Back out to Morin. Swings it over to Holly. Amazing. Great floater there by Holly. Grade nine, you wouldn't even know it. New Crusader on the floor, Sam Andrew, grade 11, is now on. Tough, tough defense by Bahama and Yunus. It's going to force that turnover. Another great rotation by Hawley. Gets the fast break going. Warren attacks middle. Turns it over. Osman's going to take it in. Left hand finish is good. That's a tough finish. Body checks on the game for Dylan Morin. See if they get a little energy off the bench here to finish the quarter. Foul count right now. Holy Cross at three. Walter Murray at two. Letting the boys play a little bit, which has been good for pace. Ooh. Austin pulls up, rotates it across. It's a strong take. We're going to have a blocking foul. Two shots coming right now for Holy Cross. Shepherd Hill is the line. Yeah, on the other end there is a great take by, by Datiel. You just kind of think you, get, you need to be a little more under control when you're going in there against those big bodies. Mm -hmm. 
And the thing in Saskatoon, you'd only ever see such heights from Easton Tim's only on Holy Cross. So right now, Dati Fontaine might have to adjust. His moves that might have worked before might not work now against the 6'7 Easton Tim. It's definitely finding that balance of aggressiveness and being under control. I think they can do it, and we'll see if they can get some scoring going to finish this quarter. Mahati swings it over to Holly. Good attack middle. Top floater going to his left, no good. A good pass up by Key and Tyson. Gonna have a push from behind. Another foul coming against Walter Murray. They're gonna give that one to Datiel Fontaine, his second of the game, which is gonna make him check out and find a seat on the bench right now. Checking in for the Marauders, Will Sachin and Dylan Warren. Now, if you're Walter Murray right now, you know you haven't seen a lot of shots falling, but you have the capability offensively to score and fill up the bucket a bunch. So do you keep shooting? I think they have no option but to keep shooting. It's what shots they decide to take. As Kean Tyson misses a three, but the teammate gets the rebound. Easton Tim for a strong two underneath the basket. If you're Holy Cross, you are loving the start to this game right now. 15 to six. Dylan Morin needs to get something going here to finish the quarter. Strong take by Faisal Mahadi. He can't get it to go off two feet. Shepard Hills posted it above. They're going to slow things down here. Down low to Easton Timms. Tough finish, no foul call down there. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Great rebound, rebound by Muhammad Yunus. He gets it up to Morin. Ooh, and that's a tough shot over the big Easton Timms. Swing around to Yunus, he gets his own rebound. Sachin over to Mahadi for three. Bang! They needed that one. Might see the floodgates open after that one. A great push ahead. Jack Gray with the finish. Yep, that's good for two. What a pass from Easton Tim. He looks tired, but that bucket was worth it all. Holy cross players look tired. Hoping to make it in for the last 15 seconds before the end of the quarter. Itiguari swings it over to Mahadi. Up to Morin. He attacks middle. Tries to finish over the Big Tim. Last shot of the quarter. No good. Mason Tim on the throw down court. That's a great first quarter. What are your thoughts, Tegan, on the first quarter? I think Cross is sticking to their game plan. They're making Murray shoot tough shots. And right now, they're just not falling for Walter Murray. Right now, I think Zach Hawley and Dylan Morin being taken out of the game a little bit and shots aren't falling. But Holy Cross doing a great job extending that 1 2 2 or that 2 3 zone out towards the perimeter. Have no easy shots right now. What are you seeing from Holy Cross on offense that you like? Seeing a lot of push forwards, like that last bucket they just scored over the half in about two seconds and going for a layup. I think if they can do that, they can take away the press from Murray. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Cross so far, especially establishing down low. Well, what an absolute weapon you have in the arm of Easton Tim. He takes that last one out after a bucket, throws it all the way down for a layup three seconds after it goes in. It's just putting pressure on Walter Murray in all facets of the game, and, and we're here for it. If you had to guess what Easton Tim's second sport is, what do you think? Do you want my true answer or my second answer? Second answer. My second answer was baseball. Baseball is correct. Oh, baseball there we go. Is correct. He's there a pitcher. We go. What's he throwing? High, high 80s? You got to think at least. I know I wouldn't want to be behind the plate for that one. Back here of our senior boys 2023 city championships. 
And a hot start here. We have some size checked into the game right now. Number 15 on Holy Cross, Aloka Fernando is checked in, grade 11. Great rebound there by Zach Hawley. He's been everywhere on the defensive end. Let's see if you can see him on the offensive end here. You gotta be afraid for him to hit his first three. There's probably a couple more coming after that. Kick out to Faisal Mahadi. He can't get it to go. Tough take by Kean Tyson. It's gonna be another foul coming through. Two shots. Second foul on Faisal Mahadi. I've loved the possessions from Murray. They get the ball moving. But I find that they're getting into these areas where the cross defenders are just able to guard them way too easily. All right, no more patience. Couldn't agree more. And they're taking shots that sometimes they could take any time. Haven't really seen them push and transition a ton yet. Holy Cross doing a great job getting back early. Into the game for Murray, Pitar Jovic. Holly gets it right into Jovic. He goes up to the left, can't get it to go. Will Sachin can't finish with his right hand. Screen coming up top. Jack Gray with a tough finish. That's not going to go. Marine transition. Mahadi over to Sachin. He gets that one to go. That's exactly In what we're saying. Exactly what Murray's going to have to do is push before Holy Cross can set up their zone. Absolutely. A little too strong on that three. Holly up to Morin on the sideline. Born with a strong take, he gets himself two at the line. Born misses off the right side of the rim. Gets the second one to go. Well, Murray applying a little bit of a run and jump pressure right now. Got a game ball touch. There's a lucky fan. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the best seats in the house right here. You get lucky enough to touch a game ball. Right at center court. I don't think anyone else is watching from center court other than us. Mm. Even the scorekeepers over there. Another screen and roll from the 45. Jack Ray thinks about it. Pressure is cranked up. We're gonna call it travel on Holy Cross. A little more defensive pressure here by Walter Murray, and it's, it's changing possessions right now. Absolutely, they're hanging in there as best they can. We've been loving their, their rotations on the ball screens. They're really trying to force it in, cross that is, for some easy twos, and the Murray guards are being pesky down there. They're getting a couple steals. Now Holy Cross on defense loves to set up in a bit of a 1-2-2 two, two zone, falling back into 2-3. And with no threes being hit by Walter Murray, it's Holly, pretty successful. In and out. The top take by Easton Sims. He gets his own rebound. Foul. He'll go to the line for two. You just wonder what's the answer for Easton Tim so far? It's tough to stop Big Tim at the rim there. That's a good one. <laughs> Davis, if you're Walter Murray, what are you drawing up here? I don't know if it's anything to draw up as much as continuing defensive pressure and 
tell them to keep running the ball. Right now, their defense is turning into their offense. So if they can keep that defensive pressure up right now, advancing the ball over half in less than four or five seconds, they'll look to get some good looks right now. But the last thing they want is to go against that set Holy Cross defense. What do you think? Absolutely, I was going to say. The best way to beat a zone defense is to get it down the court. If you can beat them down the court with some pressure, not let them get into that 2-3 or 1-2-2 as you've been saying, that's the best way Murray's going to get better looks. First of two shots here coming for Easton Tim. First one's good. Second one off the mark. Walsh Murray pushes. Ollie at the top. No good from three. Just can't seem to find it so far tonight. I wanted that one. Couldn't get it. Tuno Blake dribbling the ball up top. Shot up and in. Three by Shepard Hills is good. Holly loses it for a second, gets it over Morin. Morin dumps it down. Dacio Fontaine cannot finish. It's a great look there for Murray. Fontaine's got to be upset about that one. Gray wants another one, and it's good. Back to back threes, Holy Cross goes up 14. Beautiful back to back threes there from Holy Cross. Walter Murray's offensive powers, you know they're never truly out of this game. It's early. How does Dacio Fontaine get that ball out of there? I don't know. Zach Holly for the quarter three? No. Can't buy one right now. That's a great driving kick from Moore into Holly. Almost patented at this point in the season. They can't get it to go. Some full court pressure being applied here by Walter Murray. Back to back to back scores by Holy Cross. Easton Timms goes to the line to complete the and one. So when is that timeout? It starts to enter your mind of Walter Murray coaching staff. Every coach has a different philosophy on that. Some coaches like to let their players figure it out and, and keep the flow of the game. But I think if you're Murray, you're starting to think about one at least. Into the game, Abdi Itaguari. Dear Murray, you... Really looking for a good possession here. Double team in Morin. He goes behind the back, he turns it over. Pass up, Holy Cross, left hand finish. It's good. They extend their lead to 19. Ida Guari gets in the corner, he swings it around to Mahati. Two foot floater, cannot go, he gets his own rebound. Swings it over to Dacio Fontaine with the left hand and a pretty finish. Wow. English on that one. I don't know if I can finish that with my left hand. That's I can't do left hand layups in a, a layup drill. Steal from Dylan Morin. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty. Some soft touches there for Murray. Back to back layups. They haven't had that in a while. A little score stop score here coming from Murray. Keep it rolling. Fortunio Blake takes it in. That's a contested shot. No good. Till Morrow. Another steal. Hidiguari pushing the pace here. Kicks it out to Faisal Mahati. Step back three. Back rim. 
that would have been huge for the Walter Murray comeback. Gotta think you're looking to anything that's gonna give you some momentum. A bucket would be huge here for Murray. Great swing through the baseline. Getting it down low. Tim, he's double teamed immediately. Five seconds on the clock. Jack Gray with a long three. Doesn't hit anything. We have a white foul. Thought it could be a jump ball there, but we're gonna go white foul on Easton Tim. First of the game. Absolutely love the effort from Daxiel Fontaine. Battling on both ends. You know, right now it's a 15 point game. It doesn't feel like it right now. Feels like it'd be a lot, a lot closer, maybe two or three possessions. Well, with this Murray team, it could be there. Give us. Agreed. Good defense there. Down low, Osmond's going to swing it through the baseline. Deflected out of bounds. Holy cross ball on the baseline. Great hand there from Zach Hawley, too, on the defensive end. He's got to have two or three steals now, a couple tip balls as well. Even though the shots aren't falling right now, he's doing everything he can on defensive end. You've got to appreciate. Absolutely. Shot gone up by Easton Tyson. Or, sorry, Key and Tyson. No good. Mahati with the rebound, a little double team here from Cross. Great backdoor cut from Holly, but he gets blocked from Tim at the rim. It's gonna be a foul on Datiel Fontaine. Is that gonna be his third Tegan? That is going to be his third. That's tough there. You love having him out there. Just for energy, efforts. A similar story last year. It was Muhammad Yunus that actually got into foul trouble early, getting three fouls in the first half. Datiel Fontaine takes his turn this year. Another stealer by Holly. He swings it over to Holly, picks up his dribble. Backdoor cuts and Eunice kicks it out to Itaguari over to Morin. Morin swallowed up by the Holy Cross defense in the paint there. They're getting good looks, just no one really wants to look to attack or shoot right now. Walter Murray uses their second time out of the half. They have zero remaining. You gotta credit the Holy Cross defense right now. Both teams playing really well defensively. 15 point game right now. Walter Murray has a 16 point so far in the half. They are way below their average on the half right now. Sometimes the old cliche, you live and die by the three. And I'd say they're not necessarily living by it right now. It would probably be the latter. Six seconds on the shot clock here. Zach Holly inbounding. I wonder if they know the shot clock time. Eunice tries to go up. No. Again, credit credit to Holy Cross defense there. Giving the Murray players all they can handle on that end of the floor. Osmond's going to bring it up to the front here. Dribble on the 45. Open on the three-point line here. Less than 10 on the shot clock. Tough entry down low. It's going to be a jump ball. This 
switching possessions. Walter Murray ball. It's a great effort there by Faisal Mahadi. Getting on the floor, not giving up on the play. You need every one of those. Oh! Abdi Itakawari with the beautiful delivery from Zach Hawley. They needed that in a bad way. You see the Walter Murray coach, Kirk Jones, asking for a bit of a push off there. But we're going to be going and shooting bonus two foul shots right now. Fouls on Zach Hawley. First one is no good, second one on the way. Big rebound here for Walter Murray. Warren stepped in there early. Give me another shot here for Holy Cross. That's the one that makes you really shake your head as a coach. Elbow jumper, way long. Passing up to Key and Tyson here. It's going to take it to the baseline. Lots of pressure applied by Dylan Morin. Looking for a double team right now on Easton Tim. Lots of movement down low. Tough finish, no good. He's going to go line for two. They are double teaming Easton Tim down low all the time. Technical foul called on the Murray bench on coach Kirk Jones. Obviously, he didn't like what he saw down low on that foul. It's going to be two shots as well as a technical foul shot. Not sure what was said, but referees clearly didn't like what they were hearing. Holy Cross extends the lead to 14. Just under two minutes left in the quarter. It's definitely a bit of a momentum killer there for Walter Murray. They had a few buckets going. Foul and the technical foul leading to quite a few points here. Three point swing there. It's tough. Unreal free throw shooting by Holy Cross. Good dish. Nice pass from Mahadi. Eunice cannot finish. Kick out to Holly. Boom! Four three. It's going to like to see that first one go down. Foul against Walter Murray. They're already in bonus. Here comes two more. I'm quite impressed by Easton Tim's free throw shooting so far. I wouldn't even say he's skilled for his size. He's just skilled, period. As you jinx him there at the line there, dude. Yeah, that's my bad. Frustration starting to set in for Walter Murray here. It's a technical warning assessed to number three, Dylan Morin, on Walter Murray. And in spite of the commentator, Tim knocks down the second. Great 
take from Eunice. Love the little kick out there from Mahati. Great decision making. Kian Tyson for three, and it's good. Up and in for three. 15 point lead for Holy Cross. One minute remaining in the half. It's a strong take. No good from Tyson. Murray will look to get one here. Maybe an extra possession after here. Itaquari swings it over to Eunice. Kick to Dylan Warren, can he get it? Bang! From the train bridge, she puts that one in. Deep three for Warren. Quickly, Easton Tim goes out on him. Can't go out and in, but he's gonna finish the second one. There is no answer for Easton Tim right now. Pressure applied. Can't get to go. Five seconds left. Top finish at the end. The second one's not going to count. But if you're Holy Cross, you have to be quite pleased with that first half production. Walter Murray's starting to turn it on a little bit at the end of that half. But hard to match up defensively with this Holy Cross team. When you got to think, 27 points at the half for Walter Murray, uncharacteristic, turnovers, missed shots, just not getting to what they want to get to right now. What would you look for in the second half here? Said it a little bit in the first half. You got to give credit to the Holy Cross defense first and foremost. I think Walter Murray found some success there, being patient in the in the key, not falling in love with contested shots over the top of their long defenders, being on two feet and kicking out and, and getting that secondary attack. It's great points. Well, the score of the first half was Holy Cross 41, Walter Murray 27. We'll be back shortly for our second half. All right, welcome back to the 2023 Saskatoon Basketball High School City Championships. Davis Humbert beside me. Hello. What are you looking from both teams in here for the second half, Davis? Well, if you're Murray, keep pushing, get it over fast and play some hard defense. Holy Cross, keep on doing what you're doing because it's working right now. Absolutely. Three come from Jack Gray. A little too strong there. Mahati with another rebound. Swings it over to Itaguari for three. Quite short. It's an early three and a half for Walter Murray. They're going to need to get some score stop scores here, and this might get out of hand. Nice steal there from Faisal Mahati. Left hand and one. Hoop in the arm for Faisal Mahati. That's a great finish. Now, having coached against Walter Murray a couple times this year, after free throws, they do like to apply quite a bit of pressure. So if you're Holy Cross, be ready for some full court pressure right after this free throw. Mahadi can't convert the three point play. What an arm from Easton Tim. Absolutely. Now, Holy Cross wants a foul. Walter Murray wants to travel. Goes to Walter Murray on the jump ball. Body back rim for three. Right on line, though. Knocked down a few shots for them. He, he could be looked to for some offense here in the second half. That's exactly what they want to do is bring Easton Tim away from the paint. Three seconds. Contested three. No good. Great defensive possession there from Walter Murray. Now, whenever Zach Holly touches the ball, he's got two white jerseys on him immediately. 
Baltimore, he's zipping the ball around, picks it up the hall, he pull up two, no good. Good close out there by Eunice, he looks to push. Eunice up and under, no good. Strong take by Easton Tim. He's going to finish over top. That's just hard to stop if you're Walter Murray. I feel like you're Walter Murray. you got to do your job early and try to keep him outside the paint, but it's just no one physically that can keep up with that job. Boom! Zap Holly for three. Still keeping it within striking distance if you're Walter Murray here. It is March after all. Great defensive pressure. Good reverse pivot. Gonna stay Holy Cross here. Holy Cross might win the battle of strength and physicality. But Walter Murray is definitely gonna be more skilled with that quickness. Offensive foul call against Easton Tim. It's going to be his second of the game. Definitely like the aggressiveness there at your Holy Cross, but came at a price that time. And now you wonder for Walter Murray right now, how long do you leave Datiel Fontaine out of the game with three fouls? You got to think you want him as soon as you can, but also want him for as long as you can. Got to play that. Play that game. Unfortunate turnover there. Had some momentum going after the turnover from Holy Cross on the other end. Right back to it. Another turnover. I think we both just had the same reaction there. Kind of, what a shock. Take, you, care, take care of that thing. I think you watch with Holy Cross is like they're not too much razzle dazzle. They just wear you down with their fundamental skills and being able to take care of the ball, but Walter Murray's been able to push the pace so much that some uncharacteristic turnovers tonight. Tough order from Holly. Can't get it to go over the tall defenders of Holy Cross. Will remain Walter Murray basketball on the baseline here. Body comes back to it and hands it off to Warren. See if he can get something going here. Eunice with the offensive rebound up for the missed three. Back out to Holly. In and out from long range. Shepard Hills goes down. He's laboring a little bit on that knee, but he's coming back now. Holy Cross pulls it out to the top. Hosman at the top. Corner three, no good. Offensive rebound by Holy Cross. Long rebound, great tip pass from Zach Holly there, and they're on the fast break here. Dylan Moore with a little right to left, over the top, cannot get it to go. That's just a great looking transition from Holy Cross. Amazing patience by Osman. Great run by Easton Tim to the rim. Gawari for three. Amazing push and transition from Holy Cross. They give him no time to relax. Up and in. Oh man, you gotta love the transition from Holy Cross after a made basket. You don't see that that often. Dylan Morin gets it in the high post. He looks to attack up and under. Can't get no good. To go. Hesitation here, the baseline drive. Gonna look to the middle. Who? You guessed it, Easton Tim. Where was Easton Tim there, Davis? He was at the rim. At the rim, yeah, that's good.
Time out here from Holy Cross, halfway through the third quarter. So if you're Coach Josh Rutten, what are you doing to keep this 14 to 15 point lead through this third quarter? You know, I think as you said earlier, continue to force Murray to take contested three point shots. You can't stop them from taking them all together. And then if they do get inside, well, that's where your strength is with your long, tall defenders. Continue to wreak some havoc and put pressure on their ball handlers and see how your rotation is in behind. Couldn't agree more. You can see Walter Murray feels uncomfortable right now. First one's good by Mahati. Junio Blake pulls it across half here. High ball screen. Not much shown, but a swing all the way across. Whoa. That's going five rows up into the stands. Someone almost had a lucky souvenir tonight. Big possession here from Walter Weary. Let's see if they get some momentum going into the third quarter. Holy Cross defense seems to be a little bit too much right now for the Walter Murray Marauders. Daxi Alfontaine back into the game. See if he can shake off some rust and get himself useful in this second half. Tyson for three, no rebound. Yes, up and in. It's gonna be number 15, Aloka Fernando. Fontaine kicks it out, loops it around to Mahati, no good from three. Puts it in down low here, stripped by Mahati. Great defense the races. There. It's gonna be a block here by Holy Cross, number 22, Kean Tyson. Now, not a bad foul there as you stop him in transition, get back there, set it. Really interesting strategy here from Walter Murray. As Datiel has been out, they've been putting Basil Mahati on their, some of their bigger players. And I think he's been doing a really good job getting around and forcing some turnovers on Tim and their other bigs. Mm -hmm. Attacks middle, drops, drops it down. Beautiful dime there. Datsy Alfontaine gets himself into the game. Nice two there. And that's what they're going to have to look for. It's that high low placement there. Turnover by Holy Cross. Shepherd Hills back into the game. It's a beautiful attack there by Walter Murray. On two feet from Zach Hawley, not rushing it. Waits for his guy to cut under, he gets it two. Holy Cross extending their zone into the three-quarter court. It's the exact same play, exact same result. That was deja vu there for me. Deja, deja vu. Yeah. 
gives it over to Holly. Back rim from three, no good. No good for a buy for Tunio Blake. Warren into Mahati. Good steal oh. by Gray. Two on one. What a block. Wow. From Dylan Moore and the crowd goes crazy. He pushes out to Holly. No. Holy Cross looks to slow the tempo a little bit right now. As you would up 11. You've seen crazier things in March though, I'll tell you that for free. Gray with the drive to the left side. He'll spin, tough shot. Tough grab over the top by Fernando. He's gonna go up and in. That's got to be deflating for Murray as he played 23 good seconds of basketball. What a finish from Zach Holly. Splits the defense almost in the air to stretch out and lay it in for two. We might be seeing that for the next three years. Ian Tyson for three. And that'll kill the Walter Murray drive right now. Foul on Holy Cross. Two shots coming up for Zach Holly. <laughs> Revering and Tim in for the Holy Cross Crusaders. Holly goes two for two from the line. Holy Cross hoping to find some sort of touch to Tim down low here. Lots of contact coming downhill for Shepherd Hills. But he finds a way to put it in. 12 seconds left in the quarter. Warren swings it over to Holly, back to Warren. He looks to attack. No good there. Walter Murray finishes the quarter with 44. Holy Cross 58. 14 point game right now. Not out of reach by any means. We know how fast Walter Murray can heat up. And with their three point talent, they could get back into this thing in a hurry. Absolutely. We saw some flashes there from Walter Murray. Let's see if they can get it rolling a little bit more on the defensive end. String together a couple stops. And I'm sure the offense will come. Back to our action here, the last 10 minutes of our 2023 City Championships. Holy Cross ahead by 14. Holy Cross has two timeouts left, Walter Murray has three. Here's the final 10. Interesting strategy, they got Fontaine on the ball here. First possession, three no good by Holy Cross. Great ball pressure. Warren turns it over. High 
high ball screen. Often comes out of that right now. A little flare screen there for Shepherd Hills. He'll go down. And that was a great, should I say, pass? The question mark was warranted on that. But you know, sometimes a shot's as good as a pass when you have someone like Easton Tim down there. Easton Tim, Tim, second free throw, good. You gotta think it's now or never here for Walter Murray Davis. Any last quarter adjustments you think coach is making? I think right now, this isn't the time to make the super earth-shattering adjustments. You've been playing the same basketball all year. It's gotten you to the city final. I think you just gotta do the little things better than anyone else right now. Great point. Kean's gonna be heavily defended there by Fontaine. Great steal from Fontaine. Walter Murray looks to push. The three is no good. It's a charge. Great positioning there from the Holy Cross defender. Revering really put the body on the line for his team. That's got to hurt for both of those guys there. Heard that smack all across the gym. Easy break by Holy Cross. Three is up and good. Defense on one end, three on the other. They push their lead to 18. Warren cannot answer from deep. You can see this might be the lowest three-point percentage that Walter Murray has shot all season. Tough timing as it is. No good by Shepard Hills, but Easton Tim wipes it off the rim, grabs it, puts it back. Warren back rim off the Molly kickouts. Reese Kraft holds it up top. Over to Revering. It's gonna have a travel on that one. Walter Murray's gonna retain possession. Time out from Walter Murray. They're looking for any sort of momentum here to cut into this lead a little bit. Showing a little pressure here coming out of the timeout. Let's see what Murray has to run here. Get a good look. <laughs> Around the world and down. Holly gets the three to go. I think that hit every part of the rim. Travel 
on Shepherd Hills. Going the other way. If there's ever time to get a little score stop score right now for Murray. This will be the time. The crowd continues to be in it. It's been electric all evening. I still have nightmares about that green white dynamite chant. Holly swings it over to Morin. Jab step, reverses. Boom! Ida Gawari, four, three. Just like that, the 20 point lead is cut down to 16. No pressure, Eunice tries to tap it to Morin, he does! Morin with the Euro step, no. Tough, take, better defense. Close to an over and back there. Shepherd Hills gets both feet established in the front court. You got a good angle that one, partner. I did. I'm right down the line. Kick out, one more. That's contested. Doesn't matter. Shepherd Hills says, yep. That is a dagger if you're Walter Murray. Holly from way downtown, in and out. I was halfway down. That's the kind of confidence this kid has. Double team coming. No good. Holly back to Morin. No. Walter Murray right now is the mindset. If you shoot it, you got it. Oh. A little lefty Lou, how do you do from Morin? Put a little English on it. Might have been leaving more, a little more than English. Official Brad Smith is going to say no good on the basket. It's going to be an offensive foul. Time Absolutely the Holy Cross. love the effort from Fontaine there. Under five minutes here, down to 15. Murray on a little bit of a run. What do you think they need here in the last five minutes to really cut into this? I don't think it's going to be whether they can score the ball or not. We know Walter Murray can, Murray can score. It's going to be whether they can stop Holy Cross in transition and just limit Easton Timms as their second chance boards. What do you think, partner? Liking the ball pressure from Walter Murray. Putting a little more pressure on these Holy Cross guards and not even letting them get down there. That's been big. On the other end, you, you love if they share the basketball. You want to go quick, but not too quick. Get some good quality looks. Hills come over half here. High ball screen from Tim. It's a good ball fake. Ball goes loose. Somehow it ends up in Eunice's hands. Holly attacks. One more. Not going to look to shoot. Fontaine, lower key. And those are probably the ones you're going to need to make to cut this lead here. Good luck there. Murray up, showing pressure. Right now, Holy Cross, you're up 15. You have four minutes left. You gotta look to control the tempo right now. 
but not take your foot off the gas. You gotta be careful there if you're Fontaine. Three fouls on the quarter for Walter Murray. It's Fontaine's fourth and you love the passion, but you gotta play within yourself. Great out of bounds play. It's a good one. I wanna write that one down. Eunice looks to attack, and he gets the two. Now you really got to start getting some stops, string them together. Coach Rutten asking his players to slow that one down. You don't need that look right now. Hands down low. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Fontaine's got to be careful. Some great hands there from Fontaine. But you don't want to pick up your fifth this late in the game. They're going to need him going down here. Last three minutes. Ken Tyson just off the rim. Walter Mary gets it stopped. Can they convert on the offensive end? Oh, it's a good hand by Jack Gray. A great charge. I don't know if I'd be stepping in there on that. That is a full speed train coming right down the lane. I can guarantee I wouldn't be stepping in on that. Maybe it's some full football pads. I'm not doing it with just my jersey on. But you love that energy from your leader, from Walter Murray. Dylan Warren not willing to give up on this game just yet. Afnan Amjad coming into the game. He can give you a little bit of that three-point presence here on the perimeter. Warren from Taylor Street puts it in for three. It's a good hesitation there. Jack Gray says, yes, I'll be taking three of those. Absolute dagger on the defensive end if you're Walter Murray. Back cut from Zach Colley, kicks it out to Itaguari. Not too much triple there. Cross wants the ball. They want it now. Fontaine with the attack. Excellent finish in traffic. You gotta wonder what this game would look like if you have a fifth quarter. But Walter Murray Jite just ran out of time. Hold the phone. Warren with the hoop and the harm. Picks his pocket and goes to the other end and finishes it. And one coming right up. Could get this to a 10 point deficit. I've seen crazier things happen. He converts the and one. Eunice into the game. Shepard Hills will bring it across half court here. Lots of pressure applied by Morin. Shepard Hills drives middle with the left hand. Foul, two shots coming up. Great take by Owen Shepard Hills there. He gets rewarded with two shots here. First one's no good. Rebound, crucial for Walter Murray. Can they box out the Big Tim? Could be timeout, Walter Murray. I'm trying to rack my brain right now. When was the last time Walter Murray was in single digits? Down single digits. 
probably first half. Feels like the second quarter for me. Yeah, probably would be. And they've just been playing a game of catch-up so far. They got down so early in the game. And it's it's tough to come back when you're trying to get back with all those threes and it's just not falling. You almost want to force his way into the basket, but just can't do it. I'm liking the offensive looks from Walter Murray the past few possessions. Holy Cross really doesn't give you much time to make a decision. They've been getting some open looks and they've been going as of late. Like I said before, Holy Cross just plays a long game of trying to wear you down, being very fundamentally sound, not making a lot of turnovers. And since their early turnovers in the first half, they've limited them down for sure and made some really uncomfortable shots for Murray. I imagine if you looked at the Holy Cross coach's game plan before this game, the Cross has really followed that to a T. And hold them to 62 points. I might go out and say this might be their lowest scoring performance of the season thus far. Iniguari takes it out, gets it into Morin. Iniguari contested three short. Tough pass down the floor. Oh, to Kian. He'll never pass it up. Ooh, long. Morin's got a whole bag of tricks there. Beautiful ball handling from Morin. Kicks it to Holly for three in the corner. Just long. That would have been a really nice one to make. Oh. And I can read lips here. Coach Josh Rutten is saying, you got to box out. Couple second chance rebounds there. Going to extend this possession. Not that I'm disagreeing with Coach Rutten. But you have to admit that the air ball shots, one of the toughest shots in basketball to rebound. Eunice in the right place at the right time. Let's see if he can convert here. Misses the first. Rattles it in for the second. Holy Cross up 10. You gotta hope Holy Cross can try to make some. Oh, and they're gonna go for the intentional foul and see if they can get the ball back here. Make him shoot while the clock is stopped. Stratton was looking for a little, a little extra there on that foul. Meet him explaining there. Going for that foul, force him to go to the free throw line. Playing the three for two game here if you're Murray. around, can't get it to fall. I feel like we've seen that a lot today. Almost got the and one there. It's gonna be two shots anyways. And you gotta feel for young Holly, the grade nine from Walter Murray. He's had an amazing grade nine performance this season, shooting an unbelievable percentage from behind the arc. And tonight, sometimes it's just not your night, but he's still had an incredible performance here. Guards from Murray, some of the best guards we've seen in Saskatoon basketball in years. I don't think that's an understatement. It's not. Holy Cross playing a little game of keep away right now. 
Two shots coming up. For number 13 on Holy Cross, Jack Gray, the grade 11 guard. Not securing that rebound from that last free throw is absolutely killer if you're Murray. You need to score, and there's only one way to score, and that's with the ball at this point. Second one's good. Back rim for Morin. What a rebound from Tim. He's just playing on a whole nother level when he goes up to grab that ball. That is going to be Dattiel Fontaine's fifth foul of the night. Absolute pleasure to watch him in this city final. He battled. Got to give him credit for his effort. You give credit to both teams here. This is a repeat of last year's 2022 city championships. Two programs that have been very elite in Saskatoon the past couple years. With a lot of young talent. Bit of a Taylor Street rivalry brewing. Although I feel like it's always been there with that third school there too. That'll sit down Easton Tim for the rest of the night. An amazing performance by the Holy Cross Center. An amazing high school performance and career by Easton Tim. Even as this game enters its final seconds here, we're going to continue to foul, but both of these teams will be going on to Provincials next weekend in Prince Albert. Both looking to get that Provincial Championship. So Mer Walter Murray, even if they do not come up successful tonight, they will have another chance to get that title next weekend. First one's good from Keen Tyson. Obviously very impressed with Easton Tim tonight. I was also really impressed with Keon Tyson. He shot the ball very well from the corner three in particular. Murray was continuing to trap when they do get the turnover. Basil pulls up for three. Just short. And that is going to do it for your 2023 Senior Boys City Finals. It is going to be the green and white Holy Cross. A lot of respect to both teams. Walter Murray, they played their hearts out tonight. Any final thoughts, Tegan? It's exciting to watch these two teams all season. It seems like their paths were going to cross tonight. And they did. We've got to give credit to Holy Cross and how hard they played. How well they played to their game plan. Shutting down the two stars of Walter Murray. What an exciting night for high school basketball in Saskatoon. We'll see you next year, and we'll see you next weekend at the Triple SHA Provincials. Thank you for tuning into our Shaw stream, and we'll see you soon. If you have questions or comments about this or any program on our channel, contact Shaw Spotlight at viewerresponse at sjrb.ca or visit our website at www.shawspotlight.ca.